this video, a pretty boy who is to meet the Intel Academy Media Department. Hello everyone, I hope that um, everyone of you doing well. Um, as you see, we have brought a new guest to the um, academy. It is a newly introduced ADC local anesthetic mannequin, which will be used in OSCE exam. So I am happy to demonstrate the dial technique of the inferior of a nerve anesthetic today. I believe that this video will be a great help because of two reasons. Number one. This mannequin is not widely available in Australia and you may find it only in few venues um, as Sydney Uni. And the second reason is because I have found that this mannequin is a bit tricky. Why? Because there is a little bit difference between the anatomical landmarks of the patient's mouth and this mannequin. So, um, saying this, um, let's have a look at the... Um, differences um, between the two landmarks uh, we have already attached the landmarks for those area so you can check them please so now I gotta get help from the needle and the mirror and then I will uh, retract the cheek now and um, let's have a look at the um, uh, landmarks as you see now we have the first landmark which is a blue line landmark which is uh, the trigo mandibular rafe it's very important and the lateral lateral to it you will find the green marks which is actually the um, trigo temporal depression and then the entry point will be in the trigo temporal depression and then you will find the black part which is the um, uh, trigoid notch so the main difference at the distance um, of the entry point to the fold. In the patient mouth, the entry point, which is the color, uh, with the red color point, is away from the fold uh, within four to five millimeters. But in the mannequin, it's very close to the fold, which is about one millimeter um, laterally, as it was shown before. Uh, before. Um, so um, to, do the, um, to do the proper technique, we need to follow some steps as I'm, I'm trying to show you now in here so number one you have to divide the fold into um, two equal halves upper and lower and then you have to inject into the red point which is only one millimeter laterally away from the fold and then after you have um, after you're doing this um, you actually need to uh, place a syringe on the premolars on the opposite side um, and see now we already have marked the premolars for you so once as you see another two marks yes there's two here so place the syringe in the premolar and then progress the needle gently into the right point to hear the peep once we hear the peep that's it's great then so I have turned the mannequin head now because you also need to see the green light on. That means you have done the technique properly. So you can deposit the local anesthetic solution after you withdraw the needle 2 mm backward. Again, please remember that the entry point, which is the red point, should be about 1 to 2 mm away from the trigo mandibra fold. Not 4 to 5 mm away as in the patient mouth. I hope that um, this video helps you and all the best for um, everyone and my best wishes. Pido. Please guys, if you have any question, you are welcome to ask me. Thanks.